A dispute panel under the USMCA has ruled Canada is not obligated to make any further changes in regards to tariff rate quotas. It's a follow-up to an earlier ruling in December of 2021. Real Ag Radio Sean Haney says while the first ruling was a win for both the U.S. and Canada, Canada's dairy industry is the only one claiming victory this time, with Ag Minister saying it's good news for supply management. Now, the Edge Dairy Cooperative shares how this will impact American producers. Dairy exports are a huge part of what we deal with every day. In the last 10 years, exports in the dairy world have increased 85%, 25% year over year in terms of dairy exports and value. The farmers in the upper Midwest, there's a lot of cheese processors. And so it's important that we continue to have free and fair trade and stability that our farmers can count on so they can continue to grow. Now, the National Milk Producers Federation is also expressing disappointment in that decision. Alan Birger joins us now from our Washington News Bureau uh, location with an update. Alan, good to have you with us. So what does this move mean for U.S. dairy producers, and did it come as a surprise to you? Well, not, let's not just talk about U.S. dairy producers. Let's talk about agriculture in general and the integrity of trade agreements. What you have a situ here is a situation where, you know, we agreed with the first ruling where Canada was held accountable for some of the shenanigans they were doing under the USMCA, really violating the spirit of the agreement with how they were allocating some of this market access. The second decision really renders a lot of things toothless. Um, Canada is allowed to continue with its shell game. And, and for the sake of the integrity of USMCA and to really protect all of agriculture, you know, we're looking at what options we can pursue with Congress, with the administration, what we can do about this, because this simply is not a status quo that is tolerable for U.S. dairy producers. Right. And I do understand that the president's export council's meeting in D.C. today and agriculture is on the agenda. What all is the industry calling for from the White House? Well, it really is a, a good moment to be speaking with the administration, and, and the President's Export Council is really industry-wide across the whole wide swath of the American economy. Agriculture is well represented on this panel. We have CEO Beth Ford of Lando Lakes. They're a member of the National Milk Producers Federation and a pretty darn important member of that organization and in all of agriculture. So, you know, we're talking about, again, enforcement of the integrity of trade agreements, taking a look at making sure that deals that have already been negotiated are followed through. Of course, you're always looking of ways to, to look for expanded market access and new trade agreements. You see different administrations having different emphases. This administration has not been as aggressive in pursuing free trade agreements as a lot of folks across the economy and the American business landscape, and especially in agriculture, would like. And then, of course, always supply chains. You know, we've seen in the last few years how important smooth supply chains and robust supply chains are to the agricultural economy. And, and we want to take some of those lessons, learn those lessons, implement them well so that we have the supply chains needed for American dairy and, and really all of American agriculture to thrive. You're right. It does apply to all agriculture sectors as well. Let's switch gears just a little bit. I know the federal milk marketing order hearing kicked off again on Monday. What's the latest there? Well, they're back in Carmel, Indiana, taking a look at the proposals um, that can potentially modernize the federal milk marketing order system, which sets milk pricing, the checks that dairy producers get, in a way that better reflects market conditions. One of the challenges we're having right now is simply the way that the hearing is dragging out. You know, this was something that was supposed to be done in mid-October. This is a vote of producers. At the National Milk Producers Federation, we feel like we have a strong consensus plan that will make life better for dairy producers. And as you see some of this cross-examination and some of the questions and some of the proposals that are being put out to, by opponents of this proposal, you wonder why this has to be dragging on so long and, and, and what are some of the dollar and cents motivations for this? Because this is an industry that historically has worked together. NMPF has a consensus plan that will work at, at all levels of the industry. And really, we need to move on for progress and make sure that we get a, a robust proposal before farmers so that farmers can help determine their own future and, and better milk pricing for, for all. Right. They've got to have that certainty. Got to get that resolved. That's Alan Birgit with the National Milk Producers Federation. Appreciate your time and that update.